First up on our questions list today, it's an anonymous text that says, what are your thoughts on gold IRAs? Birch gold, for example, fees of storage, broker fees, spot price versus true market price. In your opinion, does this have a place in wealth building versus the usual target date retirement funds or large market index funds? Thanks for that text. And we do get a lot of questions about gold on this show, and we'll kind of dig into gold in general and uh, maybe not specifically Birch Gold, but they, they run, I'm sure, a very similar shop to a lot of the other places that offer gold. But I, I think, too, to start with, John, when you, when you limit your discussion on wealth building to target date funds and large market index funds and gold, I think that needs to addressing right off the bat. Yeah, the investing universe should be more than just the target date funds and those index funds and gold. I will tell you off the bat, Scott, we're not a huge fan of gold IRAs. If gold is such a great investment, here's the question I want you to ask. Why is somebody trying to sell you their gold? If it's a great investment and it's going to go to the moon and it has all this uh, positive vibe around it, why are they trying to sell it? Well, they're mar making a pretty significant markup on that gold. Let's talk about what gold is. Gold is actually a speculative metal. And, and the value of gold is based on what somebody else thinks it's worth on any given day. Now, I think it's interesting, Scott, through my years as a financial advisor, I've had people address this whole gold issue with me before, and they are shocked when we get into it that gold is actually as volatile, if not more volatile, right. than the S&P 500 is. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of price movement on gold because it is a speculative investment. Now, on the, on the spectrum of investment risk, you've got income with capital preservation, which is very, very safe, all the way up to aggressive growth. And then above gr aggressive growth is speculative. Mm. And what I find interesting is some of the most conservative people who walk in our door asking about gold don't understand the risk factor that is involved in investing in gold. Yeah, and it is commonly thought of as a hedge, right? It's yep. it's going to go the opposite direction of the market. So if the market's going down and gold's going up, that doesn't work 100% of the time by far as well. So you can't go by that in terms of, of having a, a hedge against uh, market risk. But when you really boil it down, what is the intrinsic value of gold? That's the thing you really have to ask yourself because you talk about it being speculative. It's based on a trade value. What someone is, you know, as, as a currency, just like the U.S. dollar, even all the way up to cryptocurrency, it's based on what someone is willing to pay to get it. But, you know, there is no underlying foundational value in it like there would be a corporation which has a balance sheet. Yeah, and you know uh, the the gold uh, companies, the companies that are marketing gold as an IRA investment, you hear them say on TV all the time, "Gold has never gone to zero. Mm -hmm. Well, neither has the stock market. Neither has the bond market. No investment now. Individual companies have gone to zero because the company went bankrupt, but that flies in the face of what we preach about in terms of diversification. If you have enough diversification, something going to zero has a minimal effect on your portfolio. So I think gold is often driven by fear and uncertainty. And when things are kind of tumultuous in the world, uh, a la, all the time around here, right, these right, days, right. Uh, people tend to go, oh, I need to get some gold because this paper money is not going to be worth anything. OK, let's stop and think about this. If you have gold, then maybe you have the value of that gold as an asset and maybe you're wealthy because of it. But how do you buy food? How do you buy clothing? How do you buy transportation? You've got to find somebody to sell that gold to. So it's a, just an element of exchange, just like any other product is or any other investment is. And so, Scott, I just think that, that there is a lot that people don't think about in terms of gold because they think of it as a shelter against uh, insecurity and volatility. And it's anything but that. Mm -hmm. And, and yeah. gold is an investment, and there, it has some investment worth to it. 
maybe a small part of your overall portfolio you could hold in gold, but to go all in with your IRA in gold, I yeah. think, is a foolhardy thing. Now, we've got a chart that backs that up as far as the wealth building component of, of the question. If you take a look for our video viewers, this is a chart that compares from 1915, so we're going way back now, to May, through May of 2023, so less than a year ago, gold prices versus the stock market as determined by the S&P 500, which of course is not the entire stock market, but it is the major benchmark index. If you, if you look at the chart, there's really no comparison. And you, you can see the blue is the stock market and the gold is the gold. Uh, gold over that long period of time, which is over 100 years, so more than a century, is up uh, in price around 10 thousand percent that sounds pretty good until you look over to the uh end of that blue line and you see that the market is up about some sixty thousand percent so that is obviously a comparison when it comes to uh wealth building uh gold versus the stock market scott i would also point out that the, we use the dow jones industrial average on that hundred plus year graph uh, you're right yep the dow has actually been around that long the s p yeah. 500 has not been around that long but the dow has and it just points out that that equity investments outpace inflation on a long-term basis they outpace commodities on a long term and that's exactly what gold is it's really a commodity it is a precious metal that is traded on a market but that market is also very volatile my apologies. I should have looked at the key. That's okay. It's Dow. It wasn't the S and P. I'm here to. I got you back. No problem. <laughs> yeah. All right. That is a. That, that's a wrapper on the gold conversation. We are going to name this our question of the week because I do think a lot of people think about it. We get it in a client meeting room. A lot of questions about gold. We want to say congratulations uh, to Anonymous <laughs> for reaching out with that question. We're going to need to know who you are to get a get ready for the future show tumbler to you though. You need to email us if you would. Show at getreadyforthefuture.com to claim that, and we'll get that tumbler out to you. And a reminder, if you've got questions, you can call or text them to us at 501-381-5228 to hear them on the air or send us an email. You can send it to show at getreadyforthefuture.com.